Hola, I'm Maria Malia Rodriguez Chavez, an environmental lawyer from Costa Rica and member of the group of experts coordinating the Third World Ocean Assessment, also known as WOA3. Today I would like to share with you some key points regarding the social and economic aspects of WOA3. The first one relates to what is the top social and economic challenge. For me, it would be how do we restore our relationship with the ocean? As you are aware, our human health and well-being depend upon a healthy global ocean, which provides food and livelihoods to approximately 40% of the world's population. WOA3 emphasizes that benefits between the human well-being and the ocean have been known for a long time. And it also emphasizes that benefits include fisheries, which plays a vital role in supporting local economies and livelihoods and make substantial contributions to national and global economies and are of significant social and cultural importance. Likewise, shipping, tourism, marine scientific research, just to name some activities, are of crucial relevance to the blue economy worldwide. However, the health of functional marine ecosystems is in danger to overexploitation and pollution. WOA3 also highlights that in relation to ocean governance over the last five years, the work of relevant intergovernmental institutions have extended beyond traditional marine environmental pressures, including pollution and fisheries, to more recent priorities, for example, climate change, marine plastics, migration by sea, human rights-based approach, and food security. Also on the social dimension, I would like to emphasize that for the first time, the World Ocean Assessment is including a gender chapter, which has pointed out that gender disparities persist across ocean sectors. Therefore, women remain underrepresented in ocean-related employment and decision-making processes. The second topic that I would like to address is what is the top factor contributing to these challenges? There are many factors. One would be the fragmentation of ocean governance. Also, many of the most restrictive activities are already regulated, but the unaddressed challenge is enforcing these regulations in the vast ocean. In relation to gender equalities, traditional roles often restrict women participation in fisheries, aquaculture, and marine science, perpetuating inequalities in resource access, leadership opportunities, and economic outcome. And why does this matter? It matters because our existence as humankind depends on the sustainability of the ocean. It is critical that we acknowledge the vital importance of a healthy ocean to support human health and well-being now and in the future. For more interesting information, please stay tuned to the upcoming Third World Ocean Assessment. Hasta luego. Bye.